At this stage, you have covered all these presentations in the foundation course. We are going to wrap up this course and highlight some of the key learnings. You've embarked on the implementation of MP solutions that will strengthen and grow your business management systems. This results in the transformation of your people and processes. This is an ambitious ongoing adventure that can only keep its momentum and be enjoyable if you understand and assume your roles and responsibilities as leaders. Edwards Deming was a forefather of modern quality assurance and continuous improvement. We leave it to him to explain what a leader is in one of his last talks at General Motors in 1992. What is a leader? As I use the term here, the job of a leader is to accomplish the transformation of his organization. He possesses knowledge. He himself has been transformed. He has personality and persuasive power. How may he accomplish transformation? First, he has theory. He understands why the transformation would bring gain to his organization and to all the people that his organization deals with, the customers, suppliers, environment. Second, he feels compelled to accomplish the transformation as an obligation to himself and to his organization. Third, he is a practical man. He has a plan, step by step. Is the challenge big enough to you? At the end of the day, what's in it for you? Change starts from the top and transformation starts with you. The routine of continuous improvement brings understanding of the system and personal transformation. The individual, transformed, will perceive new meaning to his life, to events, to numbers, to interactions between people. Improvement of processes makes the job easier, reduces uncertainty, and provides a sense of achievement. As we think processes, we break down silos. And finally, we are here to learn, to make a difference, and to have fun. So what now? I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Only focused, concerted, and relentless actions improve your organization, not words.